Halloween time, which was one of our family's favorite holidays. We have a three-year-old who is absolutely obsessed with Halloween and pumpkins this year, so he has been wanting to do lots of fun pumpkin crafts. However, if you've ever had a toddler, you know that traditional pumpkin carving isn't really that fun of a fun thing to do with toddlers just because of all the tools and the mess. That's why I wanted to share a couple of really fun pumpkin ideas that really don't involve carving that anyone can enjoy no matter what the age. So in this video, I'm gonna share those ideas and hopefully your family will enjoy them as much as we do. First is gonna be painting. This is something all toddlers love. We got paint from around the house and at the Dollar Tree. And we also got these plastic trays at the Dollar Tree, which I love for painting. So he just went to town. We hauled all sorts of different kinds, including glow in the dark, so it was really fun. Next, I painted a little pumpkin pie pumpkin with chalk. This was really fun and I loved the effects and he had a lot of fun going to town afterwards drawing on it with chalk. This was pretty inexpensive and I loved the effects of it and he thought it was pretty fun too. Next we have the spooky pumpkin. We got some crepe paper, some glue, googly eyes, and some glow in the dark paint around the googly eyes. And my husband and son went through and just made this little pumpkin. It was a little tricky once they got to the top, um, so they had to play around a little bit to make sure that the crepe paper looked right. But it turned out really cute, and this was probably one of my favorite creations, and it got both of them involved. Next are glue on monsters. Um, we just got a bunch of different materials from the Dollar Tree, like fe feathers, fluff balls, googly eyes and I showed him what to do and then he went to town putting them all over the pumpkin which he thought was really fun. We did get these little pumpkin pie pumpkins which I highly recommend for these projects. They're a lot less expensive and easier for toddlers. We got this wooden pumpkin at the Dollar Tree and it was really fun. He just got to play with different paint. He only picked the black paint which you know is the great thing about these projects is that they can just go to town and it was really inexpensive and he loved putting this on his wall in his room. And finally, the foam pumpkin. We got that at the Dollar Tree and these foam stickers at Joann's and he really enjoyed doing that. Finally, there is the cookie cutter pumpkin, which um, we have this set. They're pumpkin punchers and we got those on Amazon a few years ago. And um, But you can use any cookie cutters that you want. Obviously, you do have to carve out this pumpkin and they can't smash it, but he had fun telling my husband to hit the pumpkin and picking out the way it would look. Personally, I think this is way easier than traditional carving. So if you want to have that traditional experience that's a little bit easier, Ooh, highly recommend cookie cutters or pumpkin punchers. We got some lighting at the Dollar Tree, this little light Light was nice because it kind of illuminated all the pumpkins that we couldn't put a light in and then we also really like the electronic tea lights from the Dollar Tree because it's just a little bit safer and they work really well so there's some great lighting options at the Dollar Tree that you can check out to make your pumpkins look nice here are all of our pumpkins that we ended up with. They may not win any contests, but it was just so fun seeing how excited my son was. Again, we used pumpkin pie pumpkins as well as foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, which made this a very affordable and fun project. And they're a little bit easier to deal with just because they're so small. So let us know what you think and what types of non-carving pumpkins you like to do with your toddler.